couple books that we heard mentioned in the uh, chat. This was one that people said should have been on the list, and I was like, uh, I saw this sale and I thought, I don't even know if that's high or low anymore. Mm-hmm. In case you're wondering, it's an all-time high. 2020's had seven sales. 300 under 300 was the low this is the high census has 93 total 28 98s i'm starting to think it's rarer than we thought it was that's all i'm gonna say oh based on the cgc census it's super rare here's wow. one that uh i don't even want to talk about the preview book fuck that and okay okay, okay. About, but the fuck ultimate me. comic fuck one me. spider-man wow uh, sales data i don't even dig into it because it just blew my mind that it's a 750 dollars nine eight because in my head, there's a shit ton of these. In the census, 616 total. Interesting number, just random. Uh, 9.8 is 191. This thing's moving, too. It was like $600 a couple months ago when we talked about it. Yeah. It, it keeps going. I, I didn't even it'll, try. It'll, it'll, it'll just, keep going. It's just it'll crazy. Keep, it'll, it'll, the, world, the world's insane right now. It'll keep going. I went for a blast from the past because I just haven't seen this boy pop up in a minute. Yeah. Rick and Morty rolling. I hate this, dude. I hate this. I looked at this book and me and Trey were talking about it, and I go, "This book, it, it doesn't do anything. It's just Rick and Morty. It's a white cover. No one's gonna care about it. It's got one bubble. Not even cool." And then I, we passed on it for like fifty bucks back in the day or whatever it was. It's because Roy the drew it, though. That's yeah, why I know. it's a big deal. I know. So that's that's an interesting point on this book. Uh, little census data: fifty-five nine eights, which is surprisingly high. But it's Whoa. a book, so possibly easy to hit. 153 on the census total. Um, this one actually was a best offer sale at 1800 according to GPA. Uh, if you look at sales data, 2020 had five sales. 2032 is the high and 1600 is the low. Mm-hmm. The high back originally in 2017 was 5K. Another modern one, just because we're in that vein. This one is one that I, I don't know a lot about, and there haven't been a lot of sales. This Iron Heart, number one, second yeah. print. This isn't actually the highest one. I took this picture and, and looked at it, and this was December 22nd, sold for $500. On the 25th, Christmas Day, it sold for 609 There were five 9.8s, and these are the only two 9.8 sales tracked so far. So next one's a little bit of a, an older book, not not old, old, but uh, I never have noticed one graded. I'm not saying that they haven't come up, but I've never actually seen a sale. And this is the one that I went, whoa. Um, holy shit. At Matt, wow. almost got a 9.8. The uh, book that came with the audio cassette, which is the... Yep. First true Harley Quinn pre-comic book. This was like a children's story book. Um, I've seen them in the pack. I've seen them draw and, and sold them pretty well, but they're usually pretty beat up. I, I didn't even think to grade it. I didn't know it was a gradable item. Um, but looking at it, 17 total in the census. Nine eights, there's five of them, but three are qualified. I have no idea why they're qualified, so there's only wow. two through blue nine eight. Sir, this is what it actually looked like, boys. Uh, and that comes with a cassette, and this is, uh, should, I, should I reveal this? This is going for $1,000 on eBay right now. Yeah, but, dude, would you honestly, would you pay 2500 for this? I so, would have thought heavily about it. Wow. Only okay. so many of these things, man. Once they get a Harley Quinn nine eight or a couple of them, they want that thing that they can't have, and this is that thing that I don't think that many are going to show up. A pair of them that tie together. One of my other favorite books, Pro One. We've been talking about the higher grades going crazy. This is a nine zero that sold for eight hundred and eleven dollars at auction this year. Twenty twenty five have sold in nine zero, um, as low as two fifty four. Like I said, two hundred dollar book. As high as this, the last high sale was in June for five hundred. Uh, a nine two will average you nine ninety. A nine four is thirteen fifty. A nine six. The average for ninety days is nineteen twenty two, but I think the high is closer to twenty two fifty. A nine eight blue has not sold since April, which was before this push happened at thirty two hundred, and that's been the average for a couple of years. I think the buy-in's getting getting more and more steep, so people are, are getting less and less. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know how it is. It's like nobody can afford a thirty-two hundred dollar book. They're gonna go like, "Wow, well, I can get a nine out for eight hundred. You know? And yes, there was a five K SS nine eight in April or in July, and I honestly think if a blue label went to straight auction and a very visible front, 
it would probably easily eclipse that 5K number based on the 9.6 numbers. All right, tie into this one was an interesting one that I saw. I hadn't seen much on this book. It's tied to this one, the Dead World 10. Shut up there. 9.8 came up of that? Yeah, I didn't yeah, get on that's, it. That's, I, that's fucking awesome. Okay, wait, that's not the first appearance of the crow, though, is it? No, it's the uh, it's the back image one, the, the preview. Okay. So there's a, there's two covers. There's the regular and there's the variant. Um, the data is a little wonky on this, but between the two different covers, there's only 13 9.8s. Um, 2020 had three sales, 515 to 597. If you track back to 2017, because there's just not a lot of these 9.8s popping up, you had to go to 245. This book feels like maybe a good buy-in with uh, Caliber 1 over... No doubt about it. Heading towards 2,500 and with Pro 1, probably heading to 5K. At five 600 bucks, this feels like a good buy-in and a tough-ass book. No doubt. Uh, here's your Star Wars book of the week because I couldn't fucking go without one. Wow. Uh, Star oh, Wars oh 81 from the original Marvel run where uh, Boba Fett gets out of the Scarlack pit. 8398s, three Canadian price rants. The ninth. 2019 average was 185, 23 sales this year with the low of 120 and the high of this. 2020, 26 sales. The high was almost $1,200. The low was 300. The high was on October 11th, which I think was when a pretty big wow. null and all that shit was on a high again because it's ebbs and flows. Uh, nine eights, 167 of them. There is a nine nine, just FYI. Sold for pennies a few years ago. Look, so Kamala Khan second print, like that's different, right? She appears. Yeah, it's totally it. different. There's okay. way less. But it. but this book is what substantiates all of the second print. Like, well, that shouldn't yeah. sell for this fucking amount. Well, that shouldn't sell for this amount. People always are like, well, what about ASM five sixty nine? And I'm just like, I, I, I become I become a second print whore. To be honest with you, like I started looking for second prints, third prints. For, I mean, people it's buy them. I'll, yeah. I'll fucking grab anything people will buy, but. Um, this is the one that like it it survived over time and has just gone bonkers. And every time there's a crazy sale, because I think we talked about that twelve hundred dollar sale, didn't we, John? Dino, do you remember? Yeah, we did. Yeah. We did. Yeah, and I was like, this is nuts. And then another one comes up. Yeah. All right, um, Darkwing Duck limited series ninety one nine eight. I saw this one. I'm interested. Yeah, it's, I, it's, I actually thought this was a high number, and I got looking this year. There really sales. That looks I like that would be a good buy. Yeah. Oh, so it was four hundred before. There was a three ninety nine sale. The lowest was one sixty seven. There were twenty two nine eights. At two twenty five, I'd probably be the buying buy. most. Absolutely. I, I dumped a bunch of Darkwing Duck books because right when the news hit, I thought it was going to be like super hot, and nobody gave a shit. So the, apparently, um, people like us who are huge Darkwing Duck fans uh, are not. They don't want to have it on our saved searches. I don't know if like the people who are psychotic about these books already have them or, or what the deal is. Uh, I'm with you guys. I, I'd I'd be a buyer at two twenty five on a nine eight all day. Yeah, I agree. I just it's one of those things you're just not looking for. Uh undervalued books. Um, four twenty six for a seven five Captain America one seventeen first Falcon. We got a show coming. He's been a popular character. Yeah. Um, I don't know that I'd buy a 7.5, but the price point at that was a pretty good buy-in. The high was 500. The low was 246, but that was probably February, and February is a shit show. Um, 90 the average for an 8.0 is 553. The last sale of an 8.0 is 650. I'd probably be buying in closer to an 8.0 versus a 7.5, but still, to me, this book is criminally undervalued. Another character that's this okay this is a great comparison actually and i didn't compare the right grade because it wasn't the right grade sale this week but I, i'm in the boat with you, 169 yep we're rolling together on this um this was a nine four sale at twelve hundred dollars and i remember selling this book years ago going really Am I wrong that this is a low number for this? There was a high that there have been higher sales. The high was uh seventeen ninety five. So for a nine four? The highest sale of Brother Voodoo in a nine four that seventeen hundred and ninety five. 
Falcon 9 fours have sold for less. Now, currently, because we're heading towards Falcon Winter Soldier, they're a little more. A 9 four is going to cost you about 2500 But earlier this year, several sold for under. All right, a couple more. I'm going to I'm gonna try and go a little faster. Uh, this is a favorite book of mine, Vampirella 1. Frazetta cover, beautiful. 8-5 is a tough-ass grade. Uh, Nico sent me this one. I missed it. 16-2. Puke. This is actually the highest sale of this grade. Uh, 2020 average was nine or 2020 nine sales, 975 to 1600. The other highest sale was 1550 in August, so it's been trending way up. Uh, 2019 the average was 930. Um, just some points of reference: an 80 the high recently was 1200, 90s 22 to 24, and 92s 3500. Um, I honestly don't think any of these are bad buy-in grades. Sometimes I have a real strong feeling on one. I think I'd go for the eight five over the eight on this one, just on that price tag. Normally I wouldn't say that, but just there must be a little more scarcity there. Uh, but the highest grade you can buy is always a good grade on this damn book. This was another Nico pick as an undervalued book to talk about. I don't disagree with him. Cause I remember uh, John Brown, our friend talked about this book, man, like, 2013, 2014. Why is this not a hotter book? Um, 2018 is a 330. 2019, 380. 90 day average is 455. This one was 460. There was a high sale of almost 700, but you know, in a, in this kind of grade in the threes, that's a nice cover though, man. There's a lot of value between good copy and bad copy. This book to me is like the ASM 31 first appearance of the character and first appearance of the superhero, you know, mm -hmm. if you're picking like a Jane Foster book, it's gotta be this one, right? Yeah. For Jane Foster, of course. But yeah. it's also the second, yeah, yeah. it's also the second appearance of Thor. Oh yeah. Yeah. This is Which a spectacular is, book. That is a good call, John. This one was one that hit me more because this damn raw book sold for three thirty that somebody listed way too damn low because they, 1.8 sold for $500. This other copy, which looks real nice, not real nice, but not beat as hell, sold for two thirds. So, damn it. Hell of a buy, whoever saw that one. This book is a monster. I Most think you. I highlighted on the Captain America show on Vintage Voyage a few weeks ago. USA Comics number six, a Schomburg cover. 32 in the total census. Several of them are restored. Wow. 9-0 is the highest. Uh, there's been a few sales of twos. First one was 2019 for 12 or 2019 for 1920. This year one sold for 2960. And then this one sold for 3200. It's a pretty big trajectory for what this book was. USA Comics 5 sold for just under two grand. Oh, there sorry. is not a sale on GPA above a 35 in five years. All right, two more, just because one I had to show at Christmas, and I am a little sad I didn't see Damn. that fudger. 4K for a 9-0 Vault of Horror, one of the best Christmas covers of all time, Johnny Craig classic, Coffin and Axe, and oh, Jesus mm -hmm. Christ, I love it. Is it, um, is it, is it a... Um, it doesn't look like it gains. Okay. So this book, 130 in the census. Surprisingly, only 15 above a 9-0. There are three 9-6s. All are definitely gains. Oh, they got to be gains, right? Yeah, I mean, most of these are gains. Um, this is the highest GPA for this book overall. In 2015, a 9-4 sold for 3000 and change. So these high-grade ones do not pop up often. Um, just, yeah, uh, this is one I kind of wish I saw. I would have probably... I would have probably thrown it on the credit card, and I don't do that often because that's a beautiful goddamn book. Monday Night, I think, this puppy sold. One of my favorite books of all time. Um, horrific oh, one. A 4.5 sold for 2800 and change. Boom. Like, I miss our copy. It, I, oh. I still have it. Don't God, worry. I bet John does. Got him. I still got it. I haven't oh, sold no. either of them. Good. There are only 35 copies of this damn thing in the census. With it's one of the best covers in the history of comics. I don't give yeah. a fuck what anybody says, dude. Yeah. Yeah. 
three of them at 8 the highest on GPA to sell on GPA is a 7.5. Um, this is a new record high as far as I can see on GPA. Prior to that, a 5.0 sold in 2019 for 18.60. There was a 5.5 or 5.0 conserve that sold for close to that. I mean, this thing just basically doubled in the last year. I, this is a book I've thought about selling my undercopy and I never do because I'm like, I won't see another of that nice. There, yeah, there, I got a five and a five, five, and there's, I, I don't know exact number, but let's say less than 15 nicer than that and not significantly. Yeah.